Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about a conversation that's been happening online in regards to JT and in regards to Nicki Minaj, okay? I do want to start off this conversation before I get into anything. I am not a barb and I am not Barty gang. I am a observer of female rap. I am a consumer of female rap. I love all, pretty much all the girls with the exception of a couple, but it's not due to anything having to do with stands. It's due to my own personal opinions and feelings. I'm not a participator in stand culture. I am not a part of a stan group or a stan fan base, so I just want to make that clear before I say what I have to fucking say. Yeah, I wanted to have a conversation around JT and around Nicki Minaj in this conversation that is JT dick riding Nicki Minaj? Is she riding Nicki Minaj's coattails? Is she, you know, just, you know, bowing down to Nicki in the way of like, to where it's too much or to where it's like is she over praising her and you know the conversation that's basically being had around around the situation and i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions and if you don't like it bitch then you can scram you can skedaddle bitch <laughs> also if you haven't already don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to keep up with all my videos now i'm gonna really get into the conversation based on how i feel again this is my personal opinion if you don't like it you can eat a dick right so basically, this is how I feel, right? So we know when the City Girls first came out that they were, you know, on their own pretty much and they were standing out on their own. Um, but then they came underneath Cardi B's wing, like really not too far after the start of their career, right? And also we know way, 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 way back, um, JT had even made a diss track before JT was famous on Nicki Minaj, talking crap about Nicki Minaj, talking crazy on Nicki Minaj's top, also made tweets on Twitter saying that Cardi B was better, all types of stuff, just crazy stuff, spewing all this rhetoric about, you know, Nicki. And as we know, of course, Nicki Minaj, JT, and Carisha ended up making up and making amends, which is amazing. But there was a time that JT wasn't feeling Nicki like that. And Nicki, you know, had her even recite the diss rap that she made against her before she was famous on this live. To refresh your memory, check this out. The diss rap is against me in the car when you was in the car. How'd that song go? Right. Write that song right now. My diss song is saying, wait, what did it say? Nikki can't rip no fucking beat. She ain't even from the street. So I was in my Jeep, my Gucci. Racist. No, finish it. Keep it going. Wait, I don't remember. I don't know. I scared. Nikki ain't even rip fucking street. She ain't wait. Nikki ain't in a fucking. Nikki can't fit, rip no fucking. Beat. She ain't even from the streets. I'ma drop you like a bag of groceries. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Some of the groceries we had been dropping at the door. Mm-hmm. Nikki can't rip no fucking beat. That hoe ain't even in the streets. She been fucking with me, but she got dropped like some. Uh, you know your label mate QC. Mm -hmm. He said he wouldn't work with Nicki because of the beef with Cardi. Mm -hmm. So w would you work with Nicki? I just want to stay away from that question. Like I don't want to get into that. But I am Team Cardi. City Girls is Team Cardi. I had to put those clips in case y'all forgot. JT and the City Girls weren't always buddy buddy with Nicki Minaj. Before fame, after fame, they kind of did certain things that made people believe, you know, what side they were on in the whole Nicki Cardi beef situation and what side they were on personally. And they didn't really interact with Nicki like that in the beginning. According to Stan culture and according to, you know, fans, they picked a side at that time. That's where the coattail writing and the dick writing and all of that conversation comes in because we know that she used to feel this way about Nicki. Not only that, they ended up working with Cardi B uh, in the early stages of their career. Um, they were linked up real heavy with her and everything was, you know, great. But then slowly but surely, they started slowly distancing themselves from Cardi B, both Carisha and JT. Um, it didn't seem like there was a real reason behind it 
or I don't know exactly what happened to cause that over time, that separation that we saw that they had, their interactions online stopped and, you know, they didn't shout each other out that much. There was just no interchange or, or discourse between Cardi B and the City Girls any longer. But they were pretty buddy-buddy for a good amount of time. Then shortly after, we ended up seeing um, Nicki Minaj and the City Girl make, make amends. They said they spoke on the phone and they were able to get whatever issues that they had worked out. And this wasn't that long ago that this even occurred. Then we flash forward to present day where Cardi B is calling JT a, a lap dog and uh, switching up and basically being, you know, upset because she felt as though JT switched up on her and is now, you know, riding the coattails of Nicki Minaj for whatever reason. And that was a conversation being had online. It's also rumored that JT's no bars record was a Cardi B diss. Um, that's something in stan culture that is considered, was considered a Cardi B diss. Now, she never said this out of her mouth, like confirmed it, but that is a speculation. So now we flash forward to now where JT is giving interviews and she's talking about Nicki Minaj and there are people in stan culture who are saying, oh my gosh, she's deriding, you know, she's just hanging on to Nicki Minaj's coattails and you know, she's acting like a puppy dog and infatuation with her in some some fashion. And I always wondered what happened between the City Girls and Cardi B. Why they just kind of transitioned over to Nikki in the way that they kind of stopped messing with Cardi B. Not to say there's an issue with them messing with Nikki. My issue is what happened with Cardi? Why did they stop interacting with her? Why did it seem like they don't mess with her anymore? That's my real concern or my real question of the whole situation because that was never we don't we don't know what happened cardi b has never said anything jt and, and um carisha have never said anything so i think that is where some people find the disingenuousness in the whole thing check out these clips and videos of jt in interviews and speaking about Nicki minaj like i can't do this or like i can't do this but you know who i talk to a lot and who got some real thick skin and real encouraging words Nicki. Mm. she do not play like she don't she do not play like if she told me one time she was like venting too much about the same thing as complaining like mm. get back in in that studio do this like do this and like do that and that's where, like, one of the things come from, just having her to have in my back and just telling me certain things. It's a great outlook. Like, Because that's life. Like, not just... She, she'll she say, every day you won't win, but you a loser when you don't try. Ooh. Like, you're going to sit right. there and fail because you lost. Like, you got to get up and you got to keep You got to shoot your shot to yeah, even have a gotta, chance to win. You got to shoot your shot. And I feel like me and Carisha definitely can do it. I really feel like that. I don't care what nobody say. I don't give a fuck what nobody on the internet say i feel like if we get out together and we scribe we gonna we can kill a game because i feel like it's nobody like us mm -hmm. I feel I, please that, that don't bother me like if Nicki minaj walk up to any bitch in the comments saying i'm eating dick anything they're gonna bow down this internet shit is not real like these bitches on the internet just talking behind a stream they not going to see Nicki minaj and not bow, bow down like i don't give a fuck like please it's like i don't care I don't care. Really? And I know this is going to be like everywhere. And I, that's why I really hate when I have to go deep into that because it just it just make people mad. And I don't know why I make people so mad. Like that shit make me mad. It'll make people mad. Like let people do what they want to do. Let people support who they want to support. If it's female unity, if it's female, all of that, then what's the problem when it comes to Nicki Minaj? Like, please. It's support black women until it's Nicki Minaj. Like support, protect all of that until it's her because she's, she, she, she comes off as so strong. And I and I think it's a Sagittarius thing because we don't really like pity. Like, Also here, I have a tweet from Asian Debrat that says, you bitches should have shown genuine love years ago, but instead you diss. So yes, you look like a dick riding bitch. We all see it. So this is the thing, right? Asian doll's not wrong. And people are going to eat me up about that and be like, oh my God. And the barbs are going to, uh, da, da, da. And I, call, I don't give a fuck. Asian doll isn't wrong. And the reason why she's not wrong. And y'all are going to say, I know y'all are going to say, well, Asian doll's just mad because she didn't get the feature from Nicki Minaj. That doesn't matter. Two things can be true at once. Yes, Asian doll could be bitter because Nicki Minaj didn't give her a feature. 
but that doesn't make what she said wrong. Asian Doll wasn't wrong. Asian Doll said what she said. JT in the beginning was not for Nicki Minaj like that. So yes, now that she switched sides, it looks like she, even if she's not, even if she genuinely loves Nicki and she's not trying to, it looks like that. It, from the outside looking in, it looks like that because let another girl have done that, what JT is doing, y'all would not, y'all would not be here for that. Y'all be like, oh, she's flip floppy. She's fake. Y'all would say that. But because Nicki Minaj made up with JT, y'all have welcomed her in. You know what I'm saying? But if it was another girl who, who was hating on Nicki and now she's cool with her again, y'all wouldn't accept, y'all would not accept them. But you're accepting her because Nikki did, which is cool. You know, Nikki, I'm glad that Nikki forgave JT, but the point is, um, you no, know, people aren't looking at it objectively and what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? And it does look flip floppy. It does. And y'all would hate any other bitch who did that. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, and that's why I don't mess with the barbs like that, except for the ones who can think rationally. I don't mess with the barbs like that because they, they don't, they don't think objectively. They, they don't, they, a lot of them don't, don't. They're way too caught up in stan culture, way too caught up in, in, in all of that to see, you know, to see what's really going on. And I love JT. I think she's extremely talented and she can rap and I've loved the City Girls from the time they came out, but I do remember back when they were Team Cardi. I remember that. And so I can see why it looks weird to people now that JT is so crazy Nicki Minaj and has completely left Cardi B out to dry. The City Girls left Cardi B out to dry with no explanation. So it does look weird. And again, I'm not Barty gang either. This is just a <laughs> an, 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 an analysis. This is just an observation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that she's kind of riding Nikki's coattails or you guys just don't think that? Um, let me know. Let me know. And I love you. I love you. Haters included, bitch. Get in my comments and, and tear me up. I don't care. I don't care. We can talk. We can fight. We can fight it out because I'm ready for you. Anyway, <laughs> I love you and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.